Okay, so the final bit, uh, we're on the second page. Um, I'm not going to fill that in because you now know how to do that, but I am going to show you some other little things that you can do. So I've got my 3D view of this, which is going to show it off to the client, and I've got my lovely little hook, which I've carefully made. So I just want to tidy this up a little bit. They're okay looking like this, but uh, it would be nice if you could sort of put them in a little vignette type thing. And you can do that by clipping um, one image inside another. So to do that, we create a shape, and I'll use a circle shape. It doesn't really matter what sort of type of circle shape I create at the moment, but you do want to make sure it's sitting wholly inside this. You can adjust it later, but otherwise if I clip it and there's a bit of a bottom edge on there, it's going to sort of come at the bottom. So the first thing I'm going to do is just select this. This doesn't matter, this image, because it's going to strip it all out anyway. It's just going to use the profile edge, and I'll control click or sorry shift click onto this um, view so I've got the two things selected I could do a marquee selection and pick them both up as well so that's another way of doing it and then right click and go create clipping mask so that's basically clip one inside the other okay now if I want to then show that edge I probably would prefer to show the edge but it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to then it's just this thing here stroke click on that and you've got sort of an edge around that if you wanted to have the same size circle then it would have been better to have copied that one first if you want to um, release the clipping mask then you right click on it and you go release clipping mask and then that you're back to this so what I could do is copy that over so I've got a duplicate of it, so I'll draw, drag it straight down, so there you go, so I've got two circles. And then select the first one, right click, create clipping mask, select the second one, right click, create clipping mask. And then with this, with this edge set, I can then click that and style, pick the style up and paste the style on this, so it gives me the edge on that. If I'm not happy with the thickness of the style, then that's just down here, stroke, so change it to two points. Maybe that's a little bit better. Change the color, entirely up to you. So click, paste. So that's just copying the styles from one to the other. So then I could put you know, a little sort of detailed one, detailed one, or something like that. Um, but that kind of finishes us off quite nicely. It shows you a few bits and pieces that you can do. Final bit that I want to show you is about this um, scrapbook, which is down here. What I could do is create a scrapbook out of these elements and the ones on the other sheet. So I'll go back to page one. If I wanted to use this again, so I could, it's like a drag and drop. One thing I'd need to do is if I don't want to pick up the individual pieces, I have to group these. So I just quickly put a marquee selection around that, right click and group. Similarly, I'll do the same thing up here. Just make sure I capture everything, group, and one more time, just make sure this is done. Right click and, oh, it's already grouped. Well, there's only one thing in there, okay. Oh, no, it's not, so I need to just make sure I've got all this stuff. For some reason, I just want to select. Unless the vector layer is, oh, it's locked out, that's why. So let's just do that. Right click and group, start again. Select that, right click, group, and I've got, I've got groups and groups and groups now, but uh, not a clever idea, but anyway, this is just to show you what uh, happens. And I can then go File, Save a Scrapbook. Click that, call it Wardrobe. It's gonna save um, to both these paths, okay? Program data and sort of my roaming um, profile, okay? Uh, okay, so it's I've all, I've saved I've deleted it from one folder I haven't deleted from the other so I'm going to have to file save a scrapbook and call it something else test that will be easier and okay and I'll save this in the scrapbook bit so I've got test at the top now inside of test I've got the three pages one two and the blank one and any of these objects I want to drag into here, then I can do that. Drag that one in, I can drag this in from there. So this is kind of like a 
repository for xrefs absolutely fantastic so i can delete these bits and pieces if i wanted to go to my page one then i could bring in this thing onto something else so this is a completed um, part of this it's also uh, linked to the window so i can ungroup and ungroup and i'm back down to the source geometry and then i can update open this open with sketchup update model reference edit 3d view all sorts of stuff inside of this so this is just taken a link from the existing file locked it in with these images in the scrapbook and you are ready to go now if you wanted to delete these things from the scrapbook you have to find these folders these folders are located edit preferences and folders and there's two scrapbook folders there's one which is on your uh, app data roaming profile and there's one in the program data as well okay so that's it so i hope you enjoyed um learning a little bit more about uh, SketchUp and the link to layout. It's been thoroughly enjoyable putting this together and I hope you benefit from it. But that's me now signing out.